Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday the 13th. We'll be doing a special Evil Dead stream today sometime. So make sure you guys subscribe to the second channel. I'll leave a link down below in the description. First and foremost, the big news of yesterday was that Starfield and Redfall were delayed, but Xbox head Phil Spencer has just responded. It's kind of a, you know, usual business as usual type of announcement that you hear these heads say. So he basically posted on Twitter yesterday. He acknowledged the fact that um, it wasn't an easy decision to push both Redfall and Starfield back to 2023. It's going to be in the beginning half of the year, though, so... Who knows when that would exactly be. It could be January. It could be April. Who knows? So it was supposed to come out November. And then it got delayed some more. And now undetermined date. So he did say uh, these decisions are hard on teams making the games and our fans. While I fully support giving teams time to release these great games. When they are ready we hear the feedback. Spencer stated. Delivering quality and consistency is expected. We will continue to work to better meet those expectations. So that, it's generic talk. It's generic talk, honestly. It's just, you know, protocol, standard procedure. Anytime something is up and, you know, the company figurehead has to say, oh, we understand, blah, blah, blah. We want to push quality. To be honest, with a game like Starfield, like I said yesterday, it's such a big high hyped game that it's almost expected that it was going to get pushed again i mean, look at the fiasco of cd project red with cyberpunk so it's to be expected but i think it's gonna be well worth the wait hopefully now with that problem does come the talk that 2022 does look pretty thin when it comes to xbox exclusives i mean we had some good games like last year i think we had like what psychonauts 2 Forza Horizon 5, um, Halo came out, but we all know the mess that Halo has been uh, going through since launch. That game just fell off the planet. Uh, so who knows what's going to happen. Maybe there's some surprises that they might throw out. You know, next month is June, which is summer of games, and usually E3 is around that too, but with E3 being canceled, Microsoft might still have its own showcase or presentation and throw some surprises out there for all we know there might be something i tend to think um keep your expectations in check that way you're not as disappointed you know if you still think oh they're going to reward us and give us some kind of huge you know surprise you're going to be disappointed so the best way to not be disappointed is to not expect anything if, if that makes sense so phil spencer apologizing admitting that it's pretty tough things like that but we do have some exciting news uh apparently there's a silent hill leak that is happening uh confirmed all but confirmed by konami's dmca strike so apparently there's been some dmca strikes going on involving assets with silent hill uh so there's been leaks happening and they're almost immediately being nuked by copyright so that pretty much confirms that these are legitimate leaks especially with a company like konami so there was a former silent hill developer that went on to twitter as well and kind of i guess passive aggressively talked about people leaking stuff to leakers and calling it not professional but we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at this so konami has some pretty strong lawyers in the past so there's been like some strings, uh, like some some four images, a string of images. There's a, a messy living room image. I'm not going to show these just in case Konami tries to strike this video down. They can't because I'm not going to show them. But there's a messy living room with trash, a cot. There's a wallpaper that's peeling in it. The windows look kind of messed up. Uh, there's a close-up of a kitchen. There's a red-tinged corridor covered with post-it notes. And then there's a woman's face. Where some of her skin is missing. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's a few images out there that have been taken down from people leaking. Now, here's a former developer, uh, Tom Hewlett. He says, if a studio has multiple people sending materials to a known leaker, they are not professional enough to do the game justice. Um, so, to me, that sounds passive aggressive towards the situation uh basically somebody saying hey man you know 
if, if there's rumors of a leak going around and somebody else is posting something saying something about leaks, then more than likely that adds confirmation that it's true. So there is a piece of concept concept art that was posted October 2020 that looks a lot like the corridor that was uh, shared. Uh, he was an art an art director on previous Silent Hills named Masahiro Ito uh, signed this image. Uh, so pretty much a lot of these um, shots that are coming out are matching up with some of the rumors that it's going to take place in the UK, that some of these screenshots that were concept art match up with the idea and stuff. So pretty much all but confirmed in regards to um, a new Silent Hill leak coming out. Anyways, pardon me. I'm going to take this moment to be honest. If you guys notice my voice is kind of, uh, I guess, congested sounding. I'm struggling to talk. I'm I'm sick right now. I got a a pretty bad cold, and I'm I'm trying not to cough while I talk, and my throat is absolutely parched. So I'm struggling through this. So if I don't seem as pepper, or, or as, as much pep in my step while I'm reading this, I do apologize in advance. <laughs> so, anyways, going on, Resident Evil showrunner. So Resident Evil just showed a trailer yesterday for its new Netflix series. The showrunner is revealing that the games are canon to the Netflix series, which is interesting to say the least, especially because the games in the past have never really been canon to the movies. Like the movies had its own little, I guess, world. So this summer, the Resident Evil series on Netflix is getting ready to launch. The teaser trailer is kind of... Had a mixed reaction from a lot of people. A lot of diehard fans that I know of the series didn't like the trailers at all. Um, now, the series does look very different from the films and video games. But the showrunner, Andrew Dabb, said it will have no ties to the previous films, but that the games are considered canon. Um, so he said the games are our backstory. Everything that happened in the games exists in this world. So, like, the village is there. We might not get there till season five, but it is in our world. We can play with those, you know, as we're now moving ahead. The village is a resource we draw on. You know what I mean? So, everything in the games, the movies are a different story, but everything in the games is backstory for the show. So, he's basically saying they're going to dole it out slowly but surely. Uh, episode 3 is not going to have the Redfields, Leon, whatever. He's going to make sure that, I guess, from what it sounds like right here, that the games are going to be mythology and lore, a backstory that will have nods to it and callbacks. Um, so not much is known about the series other than what we saw and that is coming out. But I, I think it is an interesting approach to have the games as canon. That way, you know, maybe we can get some character cameos. Again, he's not saying that we're going to get like a character cameo or reveal every episode, but it would be cool if maybe like the first season we get a callback to, you know, maybe Wesker or something like that. I I'm a big Resident Evil fan, at least with the original games, like the original four or five of them. Uh, who knows? The movie that just came out not too long ago, Welcome to Raccoon City, did bomb pretty bad. So um, I don't really have huge hopes for the... Um, the Netflix series. It's taking place in the future too. 2036. 14 years after the Raccoon City virus. It says Jade Wesker fights for survival in a world overrun by the bloodthirsty infected and insane creatures. So basically Jade Wesker is Wesker's daughter. So who knows what's going to happen with that. Interesting premise to say the least. <coughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll go ahead and end the video right there. You guys have a good day.